Hello there, and welcome to the Mega Crab Stage 26 through 30. Um, I know it's a little late on coming, but, uh, or a little late incoming? Uh, you can come in, come on. I guess it's all the same, right? Uh, anyways, so stage 26 of the Mega Crab, obviously I am rolling out with the skanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> sorry, I had something stuck in my throat there. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a rough morning, I tell you. This is going to be trouble right here. I tell you what. Um, so, stage 26, skanks all the way. I have Private Bull It with his crazy wowie juice uh, loaded up as my hero. And as you can see, I, I'm just, like, brute force hammering my way through the level. Uh, honestly, I wasn't sure if I would actually make it all the way through or just part way, and then I realized, oh yeah, I got Speed Serum. And there is nothing quite as sexy as Skanks on Speed. So, we, uh... Obviously, are just like pushing right through. Bullet is somewhere. Honestly, I have been losing track of Bullet left and right. I don't even know what he does anymore during attacks. Like I, I drop a, uh, a bunch of skanks, and uh, and I'm just like, man, maybe I should like kick off his Wowie Juice because I don't know what's going on here. And and then it, like eventually he'll like pop out when all my scorchers are dead and he'll have like three quarters health still and I'm like oh well that's what happened to him jeez, um, but as you can see 26 pretty straightforward just skank your way around the whole C, and well it's kind of a backward C I guess backward C skank your way around the whole backward C, and uh, you're you're gonna get a pretty straightforward win. Uh, obviously having, you know, maxed all the things definitely helps. And a mountain, absolute mountain of Goat Boat Energy. Thank you to the Tri Boosts. Obviously these attacks are also all, like, fully boosted. Uh, I know I, in, up until, like, 20, I think, I did non-boosted. But, yeah, and now, now I'm rolling through. Things are getting a little bit tougher. We gotta do it. So, stage 27 is a beardy bork level unfortunately um what i was initially trying to do is i selected specific uh i guess cryo bombs and did cluster damage to them because it could set off a chain reaction which you kind of saw going off there and i i did this on purpose because one i want to run my troops right through here and two uh when they start doing their crazy chain explosion stuff uh it equates to a whole bunch of gunboat energy for me. So, like, even though I am using a lot of barrages and artilleries and doing a lot of crazy things, like, you can see the, the gunboat energy just pouring in, and it's kind of nice. It comes in handy, especially because my initial plan was to group everybody up on the base here and do a quick little walk to the back of the HQ. Now, here is where the Beardy Bork comes in. And you know what, honestly, I don't even know if I can take full credit for this particular Bork. Um, oh wait, hold on. No, maybe it's next attack that it happens. Oh, spoiler alert, yeah, that's right. Uh, things went horribly bad. I, I kind of thought that like if I could just wedge myself into this back corner, everything would latch onto stuff to attack. I throw a couple of shocks, I kick off a cryo bomb, and I guess I probably should have thrown some critters because I really thought that my Zookas would last a lot longer and instead they just got ruined. Like, absolutely face rolled. Basically what I end up with is a heavy attack. Just heavy, heavy, heavy attack. That's what this is. It's not heavy Zooka, it's just heavy, heavy. Um, and... and don't get me wrong, the, the heavies uh, with the tribe boosts, they're they're a little jacked up too, you know? They're, they're running on their own crazy wowie sauce. So, they they do a pretty good job of clearing out the whole back of the base here. I almost wonder what would have happened if I had just gone, like, all heavies for this first attack. Because I was planning it to, all like, be a, a two-attack strategy. One was to clear out the back end. Uh, and then once the back end was clean, I would go in... 
and just like hammer away, you know, and, and like finish off the core. Um, obviously, that didn't work out too well. So, uh, I, I'm wondering, maybe, maybe I should have just gone all heavy on the back end uh, for the first attack. And then, you know, proceeded with my heavy Zuka combo for the, for the finishing blow. Alright. Well, it failed. It was a disappointment. I took a look at the crab, or sorry, the, the turtle, because honestly I hadn't actually looked at the turtle yet. Uh, or at least I hadn't looked at the turtle all that clearly. And uh, I gotta say, turtle kind of cool looking there, you know? Like you got the head and whatnot. Anyways, uh, I'm sure you can look at your own turtle on your own time. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe you don't like looking at your own turtle because it embarrasses you or something. I'm, I'm not gonna judge, I'm not... Whoops! <laughs> so, um, yeah, I meant to go straight up. <laughs> Over to the side. Little bit of a uh, uh, oh, whoopsie doodle. Um, apparently, I'm on the wowie sauce during this attack, and here is where I got hosed, and I got hosed hard. I freaking hosers. So, um, as you can see, I was doing okay, and then nothing. That's right, I tapped the smoke, which I clearly have more than enough energy for and no smoke cometh. And then I was already in the middle of like throwing out my critters and throwing out my shocks. And once again, all of my Zookas get just decimated on the backside there. Just it, that one that one hurt on the inside. That that was really frustrating just because uh, that one wasn't really even my fault, you know? Like freaking iPad. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm going to have to look into getting a new iPad. I'm going to have to figure something out. But, long story short, let this shoot away. Pew, pew, pew. And then we win the internet. Uh, so, after the obviously borked attack, I, I'm stubborn. If nothing else, I am freaking stubborn. So, I had to go in with the exact same strategy, uh, this time with luck, uh, no horrible beardy borks to accentuate the, um, the stratagem, but, uh, well, mm, eh, I got the flare off, alright, that's a good start, so, you know, Remembering what strat I planned on using at the beginning of the attack, during the attack, very good. Little bit of a gap in the smokes, had to play uh, catch up, uh, cover up, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I had to do, I had to cover up the attack. And then doing the exact same thing as I did last time, the only difference being, oh look at that, when I tapped the screen, it actually did some shiz. Uh, a quick regroup in the in the second uh, smoke, and then a flare down to uh, the core. And as you can see, my heavies move forward. My zukas are sitting there all nice and pretty, and I've got Brick cheering everybody on as the best cheerleader in the world. It should have been two attacks, maybe even one attack if I was really good, but I was aiming for two instead. Chalk it into number three. On stage 27, let's move on to stage 28. Good news is, stage 28, all of the, the fancy schmancy silliness right out the freaking window. We've got uh, some, some skanks once again going in nice and, I guess, hot? Because scorchers are hot, right? Uh, now, it took me a minute to realize, like, oh snap, I've got the ultimate mind clearers I'm gonna I'm make use of these. They aren't slowing down any of the buildings, which is kind of a disappointment, but you know what? I can live with that. I've, I've got things I can do to make that better. Also, uh, because of the way I landed over on the right-hand side, I was able to bring out, like, the Critter Army. The Critter Army didn't actually get anywhere, but it looked really cool for the two seconds that it was around. Uh, I, I really had high hopes for the Critter Army, didn't happen, but that's fine, you know, just keep pushing through. Now one of the nice things about this strategy also 
is, as you can see, it builds up just an absolute mountain of GBE. Like, even, even if you don't get all the way to the core on this first attack, at the very least, you're going to have an insane amount of energy that's going to allow you to do some pretty crazy things over in, like, your your landing spot, your finishing spot. I don't know what you'd call it. The, the kill spot? The spot spot? I guess they're all kind of the same. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, very handy to have your crazy bullet go around the right hand side as you can see towards all those big scary defenses and it just he protects all of your tanks and skanks and whatnot so beautifully because he just like runs in there and is like I don't even care and as you can see um, having some of that gunboat energy kind of nice because I'm just kicking off his heal constantly he's doing huge amounts of damage destroying everything he looks at and he's freaking invincible um, absolutely fantastic little addition there. I, I'm a big fan of the bullet. Maybe a little too much of a fan, but, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that in later videos. Uh, so, coming around, obviously just, just clearing everything, and then eventually, when you kind of line up on the HQ, you should still have ridiculous amounts of energy. Just throw shocks. Like, honestly, the, you don't have to kill anything else. Just... Just lock things up, make it nice and easy and quick for your tanks to finish things off. And then you can move on to stage 29. 29 mil... Uh, anyway. I started off, again, uh, making use of the chain reaction of the cryo bombs. I, I honestly was hoping it would go all the way across the bottom there. And as you can see, it didn't. Um... Because when it does actually chain all the way across the bottom like that, you end up with a whole bunch of extra gunboat energy and dog barking. <sighs> couldn't couldn't do a video for more than five minutes without the dog barking, of course. Uh, so once what the cryo bombs, it's really the cryo bombs on the left hand side that you have to care about. Once those are cleared out. Uh, it's just a matter of smashing some defenses and kind of working up into the the core area. Now, what I forgot to do was it's the uh, healing critters bonus on this level. I should have been throwing out some of those healing critters onto the shock mines because, as you can see, they are locking my troops up. Just something awful. And honestly, it's not needed. It's not necessary. It shouldn't have been happening. If I had been throwing out those critters, uh, just because, you know, you got the regular critters and you've got the healing critters, it's like double critters. You can critter the snot out of everything. And really, I should have been throwing that onto <coughs> the shock mine. Excuse me. I think I needs me another whammo. No, it's not my 40th anniversary. It's uh, just, you know, what's on the cup. So, not even 40. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, with eventually wedging yourself into the corner here, if you were smart and actually cleared all the things out properly, you're probably going to be here a lot sooner with a lot more uh, skank, I guess. I don't know. I, tanks, tanks. I'm actually pretty good on, I'd like a full-on tanks, but I'm down a few scorchers, which isn't a huge deal, especially with bullet to kind of take that front there and just take all the damage. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if this could have been a single attack or not. Maybe if I had brought uh, brick instead of bullet. I don't know. But all I can really do is sit down in the bottom corner, pew pew pewing away like I have nothing to do, or, uh, well not have nothing to do, but have, you know, pew pew, just, just shoot. Okay, let's move on. Attack number two for 29. I, I still feel like this probably should have been a solo, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, obviously, if you come up short, 
you're going back into the corner like me, and then it's, you know, a few quick shots. Everybody sings and dances, I don't know, does a does a little little whoopsie doo party with the extra critters and the craziness. And then moves on to stage 20-something. 30? 29? 29 plus 1. What am I? I'm not going there. <laughs> Woo! Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that calls for more coffee. That's right, it's another early morning up here. So I tried a similar strategy to the last time I had a base like this with releasing the Critter Horde and whatnot. As you can see, though, those, those flamethrowers, they put a quick and definite end to that. They were just like, nah, son, you... You ain't gonna do any of that. And shut me down. Also, I tried to get on top of the shock mines with the critters there. I got a couple of them. Um, but as you can see, not not the greatest. Not that many. Uh, I am, however, making use of the long shocks on all the shock launchers. And then, when I got up to about this point, when I'm past all the machine guns and all that kind of stuff, this is when I decided to actually land my bullet because as you can see right in front of the core there like that is that is that is bullet country right there that's what that is honestly look at like you've got about 39,000 cannons there's 53 different boom cannons a million different sniper towers and mines like that that is prime bullet turf I guess is bulletproof, uh, and and the beauty is because you've got like one rocket launcher and a couple of like mortars and you know nothing really really incredibly scary. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, as long as you can pull in and get bullet out in front of your tanks, you got nothing to worry about because. Uh, Obviously, all those cannons and boom cannons, they're going to do nasty, nasty things to your tanks. But if you can get bullet in there, they're just going to turn on bullet and just shoot away. And he, With the damage cap, now I got, and, and full disclosure here, my bullet is, is maxed right out. Like, he is the max level that bullet can be. I think it's level 8. So he is able to take a lot of shots with the, the extra damage reduction, but... Easy peasy lemon squeezy. As you can see, this core is crumpling and crumpling fast. Uh, this is how to take down, I guess, stage 30 in the in the one attack. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And above all else, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.